Well, the sign has since been removed from here at Playhouse Corner. Selectman Mike Rosen saying that it's OK to have political disagreements, but that this crossed the line. That sign does not belong. That's a hateful sign. A symbol stirring up controversy in Southbury. Selectman Mike Rosen says this sign was put up Saturday at Playhouse Corner, a well-known local spot for rallies. Uh, in a rally that was supporting former President Trump, that denounced the Democratic Party uh, and compared them to the Nazi Party and used the swastika um, uh, as part of the Democratic symbol. The Board of Selectmen gave a statement denouncing the display at a special meeting Wednesday night, but the sign was especially upsetting for Southbury resident Daniel Sternthal. It made me upset because whoever put up the sign has no idea what Nazism is all about. I was born up, I was born in Israel. I know what Nazism is firsthand. My entire family was, most of my family was demolished by Nazis. The chair of the Connecticut Dems released a statement on Twitter saying, quote, the Southbury Republicans' use of universally recognized symbols of anti-Semitism is hateful and wrong. Palin Smith with Connecticut for Trump tells us he frequently rallies at Playhouse Corner, but he says the person who put this sign up is not part of his group. He thinks he knows the person who put up the sign after seeing something similar at a rally in Portland a few months back. Any display of a Nazi swastika goes too far because there's such a stigma attached to the Nazis in World War II and before and the extermination of whole groups of people that it is just abhorrent to, uh, to us as human beings, whether you're on the left or the right. And what they did, I think he was trying to uh, stir things up and I wasn't around to stop him. Local leaders say this kind of hateful rhetoric is not welcome here. We will defend your First Amendment rights to free speech, your political ideologies, you have the right to them. But this crossed the line from political ideology into the ideology of white nationalism and white supremacism, and that is not acceptable in Southbury. Rosen says they are exploring potential legal options to make sure something like this doesn't happen again in town. In Southbury, Alicia Machado, Fox 61 News. Alicia